Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about the Reaper IoT botnet. Over the past few days, two research organizations have posted details about a new Internet of Things botnet that one organization is calling Reaper. Uh, this research comes from both the Chinese security group called Kihu or NetLab360 and of course Checkpoint Technologies from Israel. In either case, both of these organizations have detected a new botnet that has slowly been building its numbers and may have over 1 million botnet infected victims. Victims. Like the Mirai botnet, which I talked about in this video, this particular botnet is specifically targeting Internet of Things devices or IoT devices, primarily IP based webcams and the digital video recorders used to record content from these sorts of cameras or CCTV cameras as well. In any case, this botnet seems to use some of the code from Mirai, however, it is new. For instance, Mirai typically infected other IoT devices simply by telenetting to them and trying to use default passwords. This new botnet does not try to use default passwords. Rather, it knows a number of security vulnerabilities that affect a number of IoT devices from many manufacturers, including D-Link, NetLink, uh, AV gear and a number of other manufacturers which you can find in the research blog posts about this Reaper botnet. Anyways, the botnet tries to leverage these security vulnerabilities to take over these devices, but then of course it infects them and adds the IoT device to this big botnet. On top of that, while some of Reaper seems to be based on Mirai, it also uses a more sophisticated framework. For instance, it's modular and it uses Lua, which many of the researchers suggest will allow it to do a lot more than just DDoS victims. In any case, although we haven't heard of any big worldwide attacks from this botnet, according to some of these researchers, it's hit over a million victims, which has made it very, very large. That means these threat actors have a whole lot of resources to use in attacks. By the way, one of the predictions I made for this year was to expect to see a whole lot more IoT botnets, but also that these IoT bot herders would use their botnets for more than just DDoS attacks. They'd also use them for spamming, add and click fraud, and other things that traditional botnets use. In any case, things like Reaper seem to be proving this prediction true. So what can we learn from this story? Well, simply put, update your IoT's firmware. I often talk about patching to fix vulnerabilities in software. Well, guess what? Even though IoT devices are hardware, all hardware does run firmware, a software that can also be updated. A lot of people don't think about updating the firmware of their hardware devices, but this sort of patching can often close security holes in these IoT devices. In fact, many of the vulnerabilities that this particular Reaper botnet uses might already be patched. So long story short, if you have any IoT devices in your network, you should regularly check to see if there's a new firmware update. In any case, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.